Hello everyone. I could look cuter and record a video, but it's midnight, so. Basically, um, I'm going to be talking about the fact, sorry, fidget spinner. I'm going to be talking about the fact why I have not been posting. Well, I have been, but like, I haven't posted in a week. Um, I haven't posted in a week, and there was a reason for that. So, so the medication that I'm on, Clonidine, I have mentioned before that it has made me tired. Um, it's kind of an understatement at this point. Mm, it's made me so extremely tired constantly that the cons outweigh the good. This doesn't happen to all people. Um, with Clonidine, it only happens to a couple. Sometimes it's if it's mixed with Prozac. Sometimes it's just like it doesn't work very well for certain people. Of course, never, not saying you shouldn't try it because if it's working for you, then it's working for you. For you, and it was working for me for for uh, it was working for me for a while, and now it's just gone downhill. So, um, it was working for, um, it was working for a good, a good two months. And, like, I would get tired, but most of the Boats of tiredness. But now, um, it's gone from boats of tiredness to, um, sleeping all day. <laughs> And so I do go to an alternative school, and this is one of the very lucky things to have in my life. Um, and the thing about the alternative school is, um, the thing about the alternative school is the fact that, um, all the teachers, since there are only a couple, know all about what's going on in my life because my mom tells them so that they can be more aware of what's going on. Um, <sighs> so, and they all know what's going on. And um, so the meds have gone from being okay to me sleeping all day. And by sleeping all day, I mean I wake up uh, go to school, stay awake at school for maybe 30 minutes, fall asleep, wake up at lunchtime, because they just let me sleep. I wake up, you know, for five minute intervals and then fall back asleep. But like, you know, <laughs> um, wake up, fall back asleep, wake up when my friends get there, fall back asleep, walk around for a little bit, fall back asleep. Then I go to lunch. I stay awake for lunch, which is an hour. Then around 30 minutes after lunch, fall back asleep. Wake up for, again, five minutes. Wake up, walk around a bit because I'm bored. Sit back down, fall back asleep. Come home after the end of the school day. Oh, my arm is bleeding. Come, over, come home after the end of the school day. Take a three-hour nap. Wake up at around seven or eight. <sighs> wake up at around, no, six or seven. Wake up around six or seven. <sighs> Stay awake until around midnight and go to sleep. It's been my life so far for the past little while and it's not fun. Oh damn, I'm really bleeding. It's fine. We'll ignore that. It is not fun. Um, I don't feel like I'm actually living life anymore. I should probably clean that up. I don't feel like I'm actually living my life anymore because I feel like a zombie constantly. Now again, I'm going to say this is not for everyone. This is not... Oh my fucking god. This is not how clonidine... This is not how everyone will react to clonidine. I'm just a very sensitive person when it comes to medication. Jesus Christ, stop bleeding. I'm, I'm just a very sensitive person when it comes to medication. So this affects me, um... Like, a lot. Um... But, you know, it's not everyone. But I don't do anything I like anymore, honestly. I go to school asleep, so I don't get any music done, any writing, any videos, absolutely nothing. I 
I try to make videos and I fall asleep. I try to edit, I fall asleep. And I'm constantly tired. The only time I'm really like not tired is like late at night. And even then I'm still tired. I just lost tired. It's not fun. I don't like it anymore. So today I had an appointment with my psychiatrist, Tourette's person. I don't even know. Um, and we decided that we're going to go down on the clonidine again. Because we're, you know, I already went down on it. So, you know, but I'm, I'm going, I'm going down again because this is not worth it. And I'm thinking about maybe just going off it entirely because of... Because I would much rather have crazy ticks than constantly be asleep. And with crazy ticks, at least I can live just with a few weird stares. But with uh, with sleeping, I am just completely like I. It's not like I'm like sleeping and like dreaming. It's that I'm like one minute I'm awake and then a minute later I'm just out with like a light. And like like my parents knocked down a wall in my house because we're renovating. Like literally knocked down a wall and I slept through it. People in my school constantly scream and run around, and I slept through it. I sleep through everything. And it's not fun. I don't like it. So. I don't, I'd, I would much rather have ticks than have to deal with sleeping constantly. It's not fun. Okay. There's that. I'm actually gonna go sleep now because I'm exhausted and it's late at night, so. Actually, it's only like 12 something, but whatever, I'm gonna sleep anyway. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Sorry for all the yawning. This is another thing that's been happening. I love you all. <laughs> Goodbye.